is an actual testimony of God's miraculous power at Matt's meetings. Even after this weekend's conference, I am still being filled by the Holy Spirit at home and driving in the car as I listen to your Awakening and Healing CD. I feel the fire in my belly and hands. Praise God! I just sent the CDs to my friend who has cancer. I believe she will be healed through the power of God through them. Amen. Jennifer The presence of the Lord was so very strong at Matt's conference. Many times His love just overwhelmed me and all I could do was weep. During one meeting we were in the overflow room and Matt came in and ministered to us. I was so blessed and honored. Everything was wonderful and I left feeling renewed in every way. Thank you. Karen, Ohio. Send us your testimonies on how God has impacted you through Matt Sorger Ministries. The stuff we go through here, it's temporary. It's temporary, but the glory we get to have in God is eternal. It's forever. And think about it. You can increase in the weight of glory you will experience forever. I mean, think about that. Every time we go through light momentary afflictions here on earth, our glory is actually increasing for eternity. That's amazing. That's another way that God defeats the enemy. Because every little bit of conflict or affliction that the enemy would try to bring against your life, it's only increasing the eternal weight of glory you're going to have. So no matter what happens, you win. You win. Because Jesus wins. We have to get an eternal perspective. We can't just live with an earthly perspective. Because this earthly existence is like a vapor. We have to live with an eternal perspective. And I think it'll put everything in a trifle place. And there's a key for there's a key for victory. There's a key in this process that we're in. And it's in Psalm 23. <laughs> Psalm 23, verse 5. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, and my cup runs over. You prepare a table before me, a banqueting table, right in the presence of my enemies. Now, when I read this. Recently, I'm thinking about this. I'm like, God, why would you leave the enemy around when you're setting this amazing table in front of me? I don't want the enemy anywhere around. But he said, in the presence of your enemies, I'll put a, a table, I'll set a table before you. And God showed me. He said, I'm not going to let the enemy touch you, but what I am going to do is I'm going to make the enemy stand there and watch you get blessed. And there's nothing he's going to be able to do to stop it. And it's part of the torment that God puts on the devil is that the devils at times God will make the enemy stand there and watch. He can't say anything or do anything, but God makes the enemy watch you get extravagantly blessed by God. <laughs> Hallelujah. So right in the presence of the enemy. And then in verse four, it says the, yes, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. You are with me, God, your rod, you protect me, you guide me, and you comfort me. Though I walk through the valley. Anyone here had any, have any valleys in your life? Ever go through any trials or circumstances or conflicts that you wish just never happened? You just wish, God, if I could go back in time. Isn't hindsight 20? Hindsight is wonderful. You'd always go back and say, oh, I'd do it this way. I'd do that. I wouldn't have said that word. I wouldn't have done this. Or I wouldn't have gone there. I wouldn't have even talked to that person, God. I just would have done something different. Right? Have you ever experienced that? But sometimes we find ourselves walking through valleys. But the key word here is through. Through. Everybody say through. Because some people camp out in their valley. They pitch a tent in their valley. They're like, oh, and they sit down in the valley. They're like, oh, I'm in this valley. And they sit there and they camp a tent. They build a campfire. They're roasting marshmallows there. And they're having a pity party all by themselves. Oh, God. I can't believe I'm in this valley. I can't believe this is happening. Oh, God. Wah, wah. And they just sit there and cry and get all upset, and they just sit there. And if you just sit there, guess what? You're going to stay there. You're going to camp out there. But the Bible says, though I walk through the valley. You see, the key to victory is don't camp out there. Keep walking. Keep moving. Keep praying. Keep worshiping. Keep praising. Praise your way through the valley because eventually you will come out the other side. But the key is you got to keep going. 
You got to keep going. And as you keep walking, keep believing, keep having faith, keep praying, keep seeking God, keep worshiping, keep surrendering to God and submitting to God and keeping a good attitude and a right perspective, you will eventually walk through that trial, that conflict, that situation. You will come out the other side. You will be stronger. You will have more anointing. You will have more spiritual authority. You will have a greater weight of glory. And the devil will regret ever, ever even trying to put you in that valley because now you're on the other side. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So if I can encourage you today, whatever process you're in, whatever part of you is dying, whatever part of you is being crucified with Christ, rejoice that you're being crucified with Christ because the more you die, the more his life is resurrected on the inside of you. The more power you have, the more authority you have, and the more anointing you have to help other people. And the more you will look like Jesus. Hallelujah. Not only will you be happy about that, but everyone else around you will be happy about that. <laughs> and I will close this session with this statement, Galatians 3. Galatians 3, 1 through 5, it basically says this. What is started in the Spirit is finished by the Spirit. You cannot finish a work with the arm of the flesh Whatever is begun by the Holy Spirit in you will also be finished by the Holy Spirit in you. You cannot, in your own strength, in your own ability, complete the work of God in your life. It is by the grace of God, by the Holy Spirit, and by his presence on the inside of you. Hallelujah. So God saved you, and he's going to complete this work in you. He's the author. He's the finisher. He's the alpha. He's the omega. He's the beginning. He's the end. You don't get saved and then try to fix yourself. You get saved and then God fixes you as you yield and surrender to him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. Because if we were left to ourselves, we'd all be a mess forever. Hallelujah. But thank God, he takes a mess, creates a message. That's what happens. He takes your mess and creates a message. That's a good one. We gotta write that. I gotta write that line down. I gotta write that line down. <laughs> it's going in my next book. He takes a mess, creates a message. <laughs> and your life is a message. Our lives are a message, right? Our lives are our message. Our lives are a message. So, Father, I just thank you today. Lord, we thank you today that all of us together. In the body of Christ, we are in this glorious process of transformation. And Father, you're bringing us from one degree of glory to another, to higher levels of authority in this hour. And Father, today we just make the choice. I want you to say a prayer out loud with me. Just say, Father, Father I, choose I choose your will, your will not, my not my will. I surrender to you. I, surrender to you. I submit to you. I, I pray I that the enemy would have nothing in common in me in the name of Jesus amen give God a shout of praise ever feel like your tires are just spinning and not gaining any traction at all do you wake up every day and nothing ever seems to change many get stuck in a negative bubble longer than they have to well, I have some great news for you. It's time to shift gears and enter a brand new season. You have more power than you think to change your circumstances. In this teaching series, you will learn how to shift your season and see God's destiny manifested in your life. You will also be empowered to see everything the enemy has stolen restored sevenfold. Reverse every area of hidden captivity and obtain the great harvest God has for you. Order Shift Your Season today. A four CD teaching set by Matt Sorger with your love gift of $30 or more. Also available online in MP3 format. Call 1-877-GOD-3131 or visit us at mattsorger.com. Matt Sorger Ministries is growing with you. Lives are being touched every day with the power of Jesus Christ through our mission work around the world and our television program, Power for Life. Your love and support means so much to us. Would you consider becoming a power partner with MSM? 
For only $30 a month, $1 a day, you'll receive a monthly teaching from Matt on CD and MP3 and come under the ministry's prayer cover. You will also receive a 10% discount on all ministry resources and MSM hosted conferences. For $50 a month or more, you will receive an additional benefit, MSM's all new premium online partner section, where you will have exclusive access to video conference volumes filled with powerful teachings from today's top Christian ministries. To become a monthly MSM Power Partner, please call 631-696-4950 or visit mattsorger.com. Together, we're making a difference in people's lives around the world. This program was brought to you by the friends and partners of Matt Sorger Ministries.